According to Fami Fadzil, PKR President Anwar Ibrahim will head the party for at least one more election cycle. In an interview with FMT, the party's communications director confirmed that PKR had a succession plan which involved Anwar's exit. Do you think PKR needs to have a clear succession plan? Uh, critics of PKR often refer to you know, the Anwar Ibrahim party or a party for Anwar to become PM. Yes, we have a, a very clear succession plan actually. Uh, we had a, a party retreat in um, February before the uh, Johor state elections and this, this retreat in this retreat, uh, Dr. Sri Anwar laid it before the leadership. This is, this is how things are. This is, this is what's going to happen. I, 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 it's not my place to say, right? but there is an understanding. It's, it's not like Anwar wants to be there, you know. But we have, in, in my reading of, of this situation, we have this mission that we need to do. We have this agenda, the reform agenda, that we need to execute. Fami said that Anwar was quite firm on the matter and that the succession plan will be rolled out in the span of one election cycle. So after that, you know, we may or may not see Anwar Ibrahim the uh, forefront of the opposition. I, I, think, I think he he was quite firm. Fami also said that Anwar had been affected by the retirement and deaths of his comrades. When when you look at say for example, uh, Lim Kit Siang retiring, yeah. Tengku Razali retiring, people like um, Nazri Aziz saying he will not seek re-election, right? You know, of course, people in the same cohort, you will start to feel, right? And it's not just political retirement, some people pass away, right? He said Anwar had suffered a succession of personal losses, such as the death of Siddiq Fadzil, former president of the Malaysian Islamic Youth Movement, and Rosli Ibrahim, Anwar's younger brother. You know, for, for, for Anwar Ibrahim, uh, the, the death of Dato, uh, Dr. Siddiq Fadil, for example, uh, to me, is, is one in a succession of personal losses. Yeah? And, and, it, it, and even the, the death of his uh, younger brother, his beloved younger brother, uh, Uncle Rosli. Uh, you know, your colleagues like uh, Rafizi Ramli, Nurul Izzah Anwar, they don't seem to share your level of optimism in winning uh, GE15. But I remember you earlier said that it boils down to strategy. So what do you think must be done by PKR and Pakatan Harapan between now and GE15 to boost chances? To me, even though you've not asked this question, but to me, Anwar Ibrahim is still the right man to lead Keadilan and lead Pakatan Harapan going to GE15. Last week, Anwar retained the PKR presidency for the 2022 to 2024 term, marking the second consecutive term that he has won the post uncontested following his release from prison in 2018.